Hello, Will here. I'd like to walk you through my uh, 3D trailer design. Down here in the bottom corner, you'll be able to see the name of the object in case I don't announce it. And here are the dimensions in feet and inches. This is using Blender 3D, uh, but you can use any software if you'd like. So first of all, this is the trailer. It's a 24 foot by 8.5 foot, which means it's 8 foot internally. And 24 foot from here to here. The extra 2 feet for the V-nose is extra. And then it's uh, seven and a half feet tall, so seven and a half feet uh, interior from the ceiling to the floor. Uh, I'm going to add probably an inch or two of insulation to that, so we might be able to subtract an inch or two from each side. We'll see uh, once I get the trailer and, and do the measurements again. Let's take a look inside. So uh, here's all the furniture inside, and here's without the roof. Um, the idea is for the back to have two big glass doors, so it looks almost like you're you're sitting outside kind of and these will be inside of the other doors the trailer doors that come with it that will close and make it look like it's a regular trailer from the back uh, but I'll open those and leave those open and then have these big glass doors uh, okay walking in here uh, I've got myself or a representation of myself measurement wise um, just to kind of see how it all plays out on the left hand side you'll have the kitchen uh, table um, which will be on two stands of shelves with rolly wheels on the bottom so you can move the kitchen table in and out and then over here you'll have a bench and a uh, rack for shoes and a rack for coats this is a window and this is a window over here the plan is to have the the uh, computer monitor right here and the uh, printer and some paperwork above it probably the laptop will slide in underneath here connect here so the only thing on the desk should be the mouse and keyboard everything else will be attached and kind of fixed um, so once the person moves over here into the kitchen you can move the um, kitchen table slash counter space over to the middle for when you're eating fold up this uh, bench and now you have a dining room uh, kitchen uh, that should be able to seat six uh, maybe seven if you put a chair here maybe four comfortably We'll see how it works uh, spacing wise. Let's fold this bench back down and move the kitchen area back in. So now it becomes a kitchen counter again. And you have open area here as you walk in. This will be a stack of probably containers, uh, storage containers to hold uh, maybe pantry items, maybe uh, clothing, etc. This is my uh, chest of drawers that I have already uh, with all my clothes in it. And then uh, beneath it is a sitting bench area and uh, underneath that is uh, more storage place space for, for bins, so I can put stuff that I need to put in there. Coming over here, you got your kitchen uh, sink. Um, idea is to have at least one window in front of the kitchen sink. We'll see, I might make this more window. And then uh, a permanent um, fixture here. Uh, underneath it will be the uh, dishwasher eventually. And then um, I'll either keep the trash can here or in this area right here between the counter and the uh, the kitchen, um, but here's the, the sink, here's kind of a, a block view of it, um, so there's a sink, above it is where I'm going to keep, the plan is to keep dishes and stuff I'll eat with here, so it's right above the table, making setting the table easy, um, probably spices and oils above the sink, this is where I'm going to keep my steam oven, um, so if I'm going to cook it's going to be up there, it'll make it easy to look into and out of the oven, and then this will be um, more storage space. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for a pantry or for dishes, pots, pans, etc. Although I think most of the pots and pans I'm going to keep down here under the um, kitchen counter slash dining room. Uh, the plan right now is for these two things to be uh, chest freezers. So they sit on the ground and they open from the top uh, like this. And so the top will be kitchen counter space. Um, but then one of them will be a freezer, one of them will be a um, uh, freezer converted into a fridge electrically. And then underneath that, because I have a wheel well over here, I'm going to place the freshwater tank so that it can pump right up to the sink and then pump over to the uh, shower. Nope, sorry, this will be the gray water tank. So it'll be what the sink and the shower dump into, the, the water that's left over from them. Uh, moving along, let me just turn let me turn off the walls here. Moving along, uh, this is the bunk beds that I have currently, so they fit in here, um, no problem. And I'm going to raise them up a few inches so that I can place under the bunk beds. I can place this freshwater tank. Uh, yep, and then the 
some of the pumping and stuff that I need for the freshwater tank so that you can just lift up that bottom mattress and easily get to the freshwater tank and the pumping if you need to replace something or look at wiring or turn off and on certain hoses, etc. The plan is to use the bunk bed space as both a sleeping area and also as a um, kind of a cozy reading little snuggle area. Uh, maybe both, maybe just a one, but I want to have a, a, a light down there and then a skylight up top. And then this is the bookshelf right here. So you could walk in and just have a snuggly reading area and then curtains to go across them. So you could kind of have two private areas if you want. Coming back here, this is the aft door and I skipped one section. So this is the dresser. Um, this is the washing machine down here. I have a Panda compact washing machine um, that'll work, top load. And then this is a hanging uh, dryer rack. So it's a device that hangs and enclosed in a plastic bag type of thing. Uh, it will dehumidify and, dr and dry the clothes that are hanging in there. So the plan is use this as a laundry hamper, walk in the door, toss your dirty laundry in here. When you're done, when you have enough to wash, you wash it. And then when you're done, you hang it up here to dry. And then I think above it, I'm going to have some uh, closet uh, space, hopefully about a foot of closet space there so that when I fold down the dryer, I could have even more closet space if I want to do that, or I can fold it back up. This is the, the plan for right now. Come back over here. This is the bookshelf on the other side of the um, bed. There's also going to be a little space here um, so that when you walk in, you can you know, put some stuff that you need to put down there if you, if you end up using this door. Uh, and then this back here is the bathroom area, so showing you with the walls again. This is the V-nose section of the of the trailer. I was thinking about having a barn door here, um, but I think I might have to make it an open door. And I think the benefit to that is that you could get uh, a kind of a way to, if you want to close off that space, you don't really need to use that space for anything. Um, but more importantly, just so that I could put some electrical stuff right here on this wall, maybe some plumbing stuff, um, we'll see. So walking into the bathroom, doors open, walk into the bathroom, it's it's all, the whole floor is all waterproof. Um, so you walk into the shower area and the only difference is that this part of the floor drains down into where the shower drains into. So you turn on the shower water or you turn on the sink and all can just drain into the floor down to the gray water pump. But it's a big walk-in shower area. The plan is to have a skylight above the shower area so that you kind of get that outdoor feel. Uh, and I think that'll be the only window in there. And then back here, I'm going to either place a, a sink and some cabinet area or just some cabinet area to store towels and toilet paper, etc. And then this is your uh, regular toilet, I mean RV style toilet, but it'll flush and it sits on top of a, it's a compact size toilet so it's uh, shorter than a usual toilet, and it sits on top of the black water tank, which is a, a rollout tank. So if I need to uh, take the tank to a dump somewhere instead of having a dump right outside the door, so this is when you to go off grid or whatever, you can just reach down here, pull down the drawer, pull out the, um, you know, disconnect and then pull out the uh, black water tank and you can take that out. Um, but it's right here. It should still be a very sitable area with um, plenty of elbow room on either side. Uh, and you just can't be, I guess, uh, using the bathroom and showering at the same time with someone you're not very comfortable with. So that's the plan for the trailer right now um, with the ceiling on it. That's seven foot six. So I should have about a foot of headroom. Uh, minus some um, insulation, and then I'm probably going to put a sky roof here and a sky roof uh, uh, here above the bunk bed, so you get a lot of natural light in the kitchen area where you're working, and then you get a lot of natural light above the bed when you want it to, and you can turn it off when you don't. So that's the uh, tiny house plans right now, and we'll see what else changes as we go.